While pet insurance has been sold for years, it has become increasingly popular throughout our country for owners of all types of animals to purchase this in case their pet gets injured or sick. However, because there are so many companies that offer this type of coverage, a pet owner needs to take a closer look at these companies and their coverages and take this pet insurance and compare the advantages and disadvantages. Let's take a look at some of the key aspects you should look at before making a final decision. First is the benefit schedule. This is actually a very important piece of information when looking at different pet insurance policies. The schedule provides a list of all diagnoses the policy will cover and also the maximum dollar amount that would be paid on behalf of the owner. Obviously, one of the primary reasons for purchasing this kind of insurance is to save money, so the payout benefit should make the premium worthwhile. Then there's genetic health issues. Something else that should be compared among the different policies is the actual conditions which are covered. Even though there are many of these conditions which are well known between the different dog and cat breeds, they can sometimes be difficult and expensive to diagnose and treat. Therefore, it would be important to identify the different genetic health issues based on the type and breed of your pet. Then take the policy that you're looking at and be sure that you have the appropriate coverage. Next is payout limits. The per incident limits should also be carefully understood before you buy a policy. For some injuries and illnesses, a pet could require multiple surgeries. So if there were a limit to the amount paid per surgery or incident, that treatment could become quite expensive to the pet owner. Next is pre-existing conditions. When looking at pet insurance policies, you must also consider the type and level of coverage for pre-existing conditions. Depending on the issuing company, some conditions would be covered and others would not. Two specific items that are used to determine whether a pre-existing condition is covered or not is, is it curable or incurable, and is it temporary or permanent. Lastly, consider the cost savings. The monthly or annual cost of pet insurance in relation to the amount of coverage paid out needs to really be analyzed. Remember, the main goal of purchasing pet insurance is to get the cheapest pet insurance possible with the best coverage. Of course, any policy being considered should provide excellent coverage in case your pet becomes sick or injured. For more information about pet insurance, visit our website at HealYourDogNaturally.org. Also, take a moment to like this video below and subscribe to our channel. This way you can get the video updates that we're adding to our channel right in your email box.